Hi everybody, this is Jeff from WiFiCastle.com. This is the quick and dirty security setup for a D-Link wireless router. The interfaces for the D-Link are all pretty much the same. So as you can see, my model number here is the DIR655. If that's not your model number, no worries. This should all work pretty much the same. So when you first log into the router, this is the screen you're going to see. You've got options on the left and you've got options on the right. The first thing we're going to do is change the administrator password. Then we have to add encryption for the data. We also have to change the SSID or the broadcast name of the router. So the first thing that we'll do is we will change the administrator password so not everybody can log into your router. So you go to tools. Admin is right here. Here's the administrator settings so you know you're in the right spot and here's the password. So type in a new password and then verify it and then you can go down here and change some other things if you'd like. You can add another user and here's the difference between the admin and the user accounts. One is basically read-only and the other one can do administrative stuff so if you want someone else to log into the router and look at things, you can make uh, an account here, put in a user or uh, put in a password here, and the login would be user, and then they could see what the settings are. The system name you can change here if you want. Uh, it's really unnecessary, and these other settings we won't worry about right now. So once you hit save settings to the administrator password change, the router is going to reboot and you'll have to log in with the new admin password that you just made. Once you log in, you're going to end up at the same page as you were before, which is right here. And now we're going to go to wireless settings on the left side. You've got a wireless network setup wizard here if you want to have the D-Link set things up on its own. We know what we're doing, so we're going to go manual right here. So you click manual, and your wireless network settings are right smack in front of your face. Enable wireless, of course, has to be checked. If not, the router won't work as a wireless router. Here's where you change the wireless network name. And D-Link is nice enough to remind you it's called the SSID. All this is is the name of the network that wireless network cards will see when they tell you that there are wireless networks available in your vicinity, as I'm sure you've all seen before. So put in a unique name here, something that I guess I should spell unique right, even though that in itself is a unique name. The mode you can leave for now, and everything else here you can leave the same for now. And now here's the security mode. The D Link doesn't set any by default, so the data is not encrypted. You'll have to choose one here. The best one to choose is WPA Personal because WPA Enterprise requires uh, another set of, of authentication that most smaller home networks don't have. So choose WPA Personal. You can leave it at Auto, WPA or WPA2. That just allows newer and older network cards to connect. And then you can leave this the same also. D-Link wants you to use WPA2 only. And you can do that, you just got to make sure that your wireless network card can handle WPA2. If it's a newer card, most likely it will. And then for Windows XP, it has to be able to handle it also. You can experiment and change this to WPA2, and then if you can't get on, log back into the router uh, with a network cable and change it back to auto. But for now, leave it at auto, and then put in the key here. This has to be unique, it's like a password, so make it you know, at least eight characters and use numbers, letters, capitals. Just don't spell out a name like uh, your name or my house or something like that. 
When you're all done with that, you're going to hit Save Settings. The router will reboot. You'll have to connect to the network now with this unique name, which you will see because uh, the router is broadcasting. So you'll be able to see the name in your wireless network list. Click it. It'll ask you to for it'll ask you for the pre-shared key. You'll type in the pre-shared key. You'll hit OK, and you'll connect to the network. And now you have done the very very basics to secure your home or small office wireless D-Link router. For more information, go to www.wificastle.com. Hey guys, this is Aerial 181. Today I'm going to show you guys how to port forward using a Weber 1310 from D-Link. And today's demonstration is going to be Minecraft. So, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your web browser. Mine's Google Chrome. Uh, I don't have any web browser, but I'm using this. And type in the internal IP of the D-Link. This is the default. You might have changed it. I don't know. So this is the default, 192.168.0.1. Then hit enter. Then it should look something like this, as you can see on my screen. What you're going to want to do is type in, this is a default, you're going to type in admin, administrator admin, and the default password should be nothing, like blank. It could be admin, it could be password, or you could have changed it. Mine's the default admin. So hit login. Then you should come up with something like this. So to port forward, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click advanced. And then you're going to see 10 port forwarding rules. So type in the name. I'm going to type in Minecraft server. Start at Two five five six five and at uh, two five five six five. Traffic type any and the IP address. So select your computer. Mine's that one. There's two. These ones Ethernet. Nope. And ones wireless. I'm using wireless. So there you have it. And you're gonna want to activate it. So activate it and hit save. I've already did this with my Minecraft server, so I don't need to do it right now. And this video was just to show you guys how to port forward using a D-Link router, Weber 1310 from D-Link, as you see. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Arian Cool 181. See ya.